All right, basically. Basically, Kevin's doing a manual swap. Manual swap. We got the exhaust off up to the cats, drive shafts out. We took all the plugs from the transmission out. How to get custom bell housing. Got a custom bell housing from, who's it from again? Some company. Some company. Did you guys just really get the bell housing? Because I saw you some, just some, by. Yeah, we just got it. We just bolted it in, everything fits. And then we got the input shaft and the bearing. I'm not really sure about the bearing thing, what to do about it. But then this goes right on here. We're gonna have to torch it and heat it and put it on there. Put shit out. And then, then I got a my flywheel and clutch. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. It's over here. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Literally in the way. So this is the one that I'm doing with W59. This is the original one. But we're using a, an R the engine from the 3VZ flywheel and then the the W59 clutch and the 3VZ um, clutch thingy. But this, I think, needs to be machined down a tiny bit on this side. So I might go get some of the job. Or I might put it on the lathe and do it myself. And then here's... It has to be clutch. perfectly... Um, Round? Or no, like, perfectly uh, flat and level, though, too. You know, but if so you, you put it on the lathe, it spins, and then I can just trim it in a little bit. And this is the clutch pedal from the Tacoma. And then brake pedal, we got to put those in. And... This already bolts in pretty well, actually. There's already two holes from the SC300, and it's the exact same thing. So we just, there's just one bolt down here when you're doing your transmission. Here's the, the um, transmission dipstick, and there's a bolt that's right under here. And it's I a pain. Know if you guys can see that, but. You can't see, but it's a pain to get to. So we got all the plugs, all the oil lines undone. All the plugs are undone, and those two bolts are out, and then we just gotta do the rest of the bolts and then drop the transmission. Then you have to take the shifter link, this shifter thing, and all this apart when you drop the transmission. And there's a W59 from a 98 Tacoma. Has the same exact bolt pattern as a W58, but has lower gear ratios to get a faster zero to 60, but. All right, we got all the bolts out around the transmission. We get on the jack and we're ready to How is that thing not fucking broken? Man? That's what I don't understand. Try it. Pull it. Make bras and stuff, or? Uh, we'll go tomorrow, but not tonight. Tomorrow? Yeah. We just want to chill today because yesterday Amy wanted to hang out. Yeah, you just come out? No. Wait. Okay, there he goes. Yeah. yeah. Nice.
got the this all mocked up, the custom bell housing. I got the clutch and this little clutch boot on. Automatic is out. Uh, I'm still working on getting the torque converter off and then the flywheel. Hey, it's day three and we got the uh, flywheel and the torque converter off. And we I just tried to put this in and the clutch thing right here is hitting the catalytic converter right there on that side. So I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about that. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put this one in and bolt this in just to see how everything fits. And I'm going to need to remove my cat right there, that cat, because where the clutch thing is on the side right here, it hits that. So I'm gonna take out my cat and then cut it so it fits and just weld it. The flywheel, I was just putting all this together to make sure it all fit. And that's also, also bolted down, but I'm gonna put the flywheel on and measure to see how much it needs to be machined down. And I'm gonna get the holes machined and you just, I found a machine shop that'll do it for me and I'm just gonna give them the spacer and they'll drill out those holes. They just need to be drilled out a little more. I'm so gonna have my dad help me with that and figure out how much it needs to be machined down. And then I'm gonna take that to a shop one of these days. And then after that's mounted and the cat's out and everything, we can bolt up the transmission. So the original plan was to machine this flywheel down and redrill out the holes to be the same as this one. Cause that's what everyone says to do online. But I think what we're gonna do is just bolt this flywheel to this one. And then these welds are hitting right here. So we're just gonna get this machine down a little bit, get the holes drilled out and then get this one and bolt that here. And we're about to go test fit it to see how much we need to machine down because these welds right here are hitting. So it's not all the way flat unless we use a spacer but it's just makes spacing more stuff out but we're about to bolt it all up and yeah oh wait i can't do it on this rolly thing it's rolling me Wait, I can put the bolt in after. I can just put all this one by one. Okay. Oh, but what if it's not? Look, it's not on that shaft though. I like cannot on it very good. In. It fits? Yeah. It all fits. Are you gonna hold this? Film? Yeah. We had to remove this cat because this was in the way. And this bolt was stripped, and we got these ship things from Harbor Freight, and they worked. Got that out. But everything fits.
Those bolts don't really line up. Alright, so somehow we gotta mount this up. What's this for? Yeah, it doesn't make sense if it locked in somehow. Can you take it off? It looks like it's threaded from up here. Oh, it like kind of looks like it like pushed. No, I don't know. They're all like hand tight. That's fine, right? Mm -hmm. See, like, so how high does this transmission mount? Like, it mounts up to here. Right. Does that, like, we probably should get the other one and compare them, right? Because I might need to space this down more, you know? Can you space them uh, on? It's not gonna fit. Do you need to get the the mount that original mount that came with this? Do I? Maybe. Or at least look at it. So we should look like. on mine. Yeah. Okay, let's go look at it. Okay. So I got a transmission mount from an SC300 and 95, which means they're all the same. The W58. This is a W59. This is the old transmission mount. See, this one's a little different, but it had the holes for this one, so it bolted right in. Everything looks in. I think it's a little bit towards the engine a little bit, so I might drill out these holes a tiny, tiny bit just to make it so it's perfectly straight, but I'll see. I'll check that out. But yeah, so... SC300 transmission mount bolts in for that. Put these uh, bolts in and I tightened it down and everything seemed to go fine so I didn't end up stretching out the holes. So transmission is all mounted in now and yeah.